Today, we'll explore the roles of firewalls, web filters, and more in strengthening an organization's security posture. Firewalls are fundamental security devices that control incoming and outgoing network traffic based on predetermined security rules. They act as a barrier between trusted and untrusted networks, determining which traffic to allow or block based on defined rules, access lists, and understanding of ports and protocols. Firewall rules and access lists specify which traffic is permitted or denied. Rules are based on criteria like IP addresses, ports, and protocols. For example, a firewall rule might allow HTTP traffic on port 80, but block FTP traffic on port 21. Access lists are used to provide more granular control, specifying exactly which users or systems are allowed or denied access. Firewalls control traffic based on ports and protocols. Configuring these settings is crucial for protecting against unauthorized access while ensuring necessary services remain available. For instance, blocking unused ports reduces the potential attack surface. Screened subnets, such as demilitarized zones DMZs, provide an additional layer of security. They typically host public-facing services like web servers, separating them from the internal network. This setup adds a protective buffer, preventing direct access to sensitive internal resources. Intrusion Detection Systems IDS, and Intrusion Prevention Systems IPS, monitor network and system activities for malicious actions or policy violations. IDS provides alerts on potential incidents, while IPS actively blocks or prevents such activities. IDS IPS systems use trends and signatures to detect anomalies or known attack patterns. Signatures are patterns related to known threats, like specific malware. IDS IPS systems constantly update their signature databases to effectively identify and respond to new threats. Web filters control or restrict access to certain websites or content to protect users from malicious sites or inappropriate content. They can be agent-based, installed on individual devices, or centralized, like a proxy server that filters web traffic for the entire network. Effective web filtering involves URL scanning to block access to harmful sites, content categorization to control the type of content accessible, setting block rules, and assessing the reputation of websites. For instance, a web filter might block sites categorized as malware or phishing. In real-world scenarios, these tools are integral in a multi-layered defense strategy. For example, a company might use a firewall to control network access, an IPS to actively prevent intrusions, and web filters to ensure employees don't access harmful or non-productive websites during work. In conclusion, firewalls, IDS, IPS, and web filters are essential components of a robust security architecture. Proper configuration and regular updates of these tools are crucial in protecting against evolving cybersecurity threats.